hello friends so in this video tutorial we are going to learn about the blood bank management system okay so this is the project okay so basically this project developed by using python and django and even we have used the for front end we use sql uh, sorry uh, html html css and bootstrap for the database uh, for storing all the back end data we have used the sqlite which is available default by in django okay so sqlite is a database similar to sql so that is available by default in django so we have used that only for storing the all the data so basically the blood bank management system is like to like uh, to search the uh, blood group and to get the and details about the like who who is ready to donate the blood so all the information we are storing in database okay so basically we will see this demonstration so this is the home page okay so here in in home page i have used the carousel so this is for the carousel okay here i use the three images okay so next uh, next here i use the our vision and next we have used the this is like a car type so i have used this one okay and this is the, our do opinion about the donor and next is the user opinion okay so this is i use the images and this is the uh, simple text i have used okay this is this i use by uh, django model okay from django model this text i'm inserting okay so next option is we have the search options so here in search options user can select the blood group and where they want the blood group they can select uh, the area see now i'm searching in the gulbarga area okay so if it is available this area this blood group available in this area means it will fetch the records and it will display if it is not available that blood group in that area means it will not give any result okay it will give the empty set see now in this b positive ab sorry ab positive gulbarga area so there is a suresh called he is a donor so you can get the detail about the donor so by clicking on their name so this is the all about the information about the donor so his name and gender its date of birth and his blood group and even he will get the his phone number also and email id and occupations so even even like we will get the like when he donated last time so that date also we will get here okay so if he is any disease or any allergy any like these are the mandatory uh, like option to check the before uh, to take uh, blood from anybody okay so these are the options we are checking so next after search options we have the live blood camp uh, options so, so in this tab like we have used the some of the like let's say in the this is the uh, name uh, address and a camp okay so here in this name is the hospital name and address is the hospital address and camp is the camp name so here start and end it is like so in this hospital live blood camps are means live blood donations are going on so here like the, who are interested in to donate the blood they can come to the this hospital this address and they can uh, donate the blood okay so uh, the blood donation like the start date and end date also is there so by, within this time the donor can come and uh, give the blood blood okay so this is updated by the admin okay there is another phase is that here admin so i will show that one admin can add the like which are in which hospital live blood camps are going on so he can get the information from the like uh, hospital or like that and he can update in the website like whenever user are searching like uh, like whenever uh, user uh, need to donate the blood they can search the website like in which hospital live blood camp uh, camps are going on so they can go directly to the this hospital like uh, even address also is there and he can donate the blood okay so this is the live blood camp donations so next we have the donor registrations okay so this is the basically form like who are interested to donate the blood so for them we have created the this is a registration form okay so so now i will show one example like registering okay so now i will select so i will select the date of birth and select the so for the blood group i use the select options the user for us i can select from the here only like now i will select on deposit to phone number so phone number i can enter
So next he can enter the email ID. Okay. So next his occupations, whether he is a student or a worker or a profession or a teacher, anything he can want. So now I will take student. So address. This is the important address. Okay. Based on this address only user can check the like uh, blood blood group here in this options I show you. Here the user can show the say see that address. Okay. So now by sure okay so like here he can enter the last donated date so if donated he can enter the last donated date else if not donated just he can select the no options like if he has any disease he can select yes or no he can any allergy no and he any cardiac no so any blood okay you can see if it is any uh, problem is there means you can select yes otherwise you can select no just after then submit to the options okay see after seller submitting so it will display the her uh, like whoever is registering no their detail it will display see this is the name and this is the gender then this is the all about the his detail after that registration is successful okay so once registration is successful so now we can see that this data like okay so this data is saved in the database so, so this data will be seen by the admin so now i will show admin okay so here for admin we have used the credentials to login admin admin see now here it will comes okay so donor registration is there no okay see here donor list is there okay so recently Ravi is the registered okay so you can observe address okay so now you can click here and you can get the detail about the, these persons okay so admin can see the detail about his okay like uh, his uh, phone number everything he can see and even uh, admin can manage like he can delete or he can update he can do anything okay so next coming to the next options See after registrations, like next we have used the contact us page. So here, uh, like whoever required the blood group means if X Y Z person required the blood, he can contact the uh, admin. Like here I've shown this is the admin page, right? So he can uh, contact to the admin. This is the admin address means admin details are there. You can contact to the admin. Okay, by admin because admin has the all the donor list means who are ready to donate the blood or whoever ready to give the blood they uh, all the details data the admin having that's why he can like when whoever required he can they they can contact to the admin okay by this address he can get to know so next after contact us this is the simple about us space we have used and this is this is I use the footer okay so this is the simple applications and next we will see like a, a database where, where all data is coming and in which table data is storing all this uh, we will show here okay in admin interface so next after like now i will show the, that uh, search result okay so now i have registered the ravi name right so i will be positive i will show that record whether available or not so address is mysore okay See now you can observe here Ravi is available and see you can he not donated last time if donated means it will show the date when user uh, regi while registering user need to enter whether he is donated last time or not if it is donated he, he has to enter the last donated um, date okay so this is the uh, this is the about blood donation okay so next we will see the like how the database table like uh, which data is coming from where and where it is storing all this data we will going to see so here in user like this is the admin page means whoever is registering as the admin their, their data will be coming and storing in the user sections okay so next this is the contact us see means contact us means this is the here you can see the contact us is there no? these data i'm storing in the contact us page okay see here though so this is the contact us is the one model so i'm storing these data in this uh, this tables okay see this is the data i'm storing in contact us page 
so next this is all of this is the model man in django model means database table okay so in i'm um, storing contact detail the data in the contact page body is there no this table this is the table name or we can say model name so in this i'm storing the this data model contact detail data okay so next about page is there this is the the about page so here i'm storing the about page this data i'm storing okay see this data i'm storing in the about table okay here this data is i'm sorry so see basically this is the this is also one model means this is also one table so in this table i'm storing the data about the about page okay so next we have the donor registrations list okay so in this whoever is registering user as a donor from this see from this page whatever data is registering by the user these data is coming and storing in the donor registration list okay so this is the admin man this this page will be managed by the admin only okay so he can manage everything data okay so these all are the user registered in the database okay so user like user can see the their data details he can update like you yeah, basically admin can perform any crud operations on this list okay so next uh, so uh, next this is all about uh, storing data means uh, the donor list so next we have the home page see for home page this is the home page right see here for home page we have i uh, used the this is the carousel means carousel means images i used from the bootstrap okay so this data i am storing in the uh, this uh, like home page body is there no this is the one table or we can call it as a model so in this model i am storing the all the data okay see user opinion donor opinion so this information is storing here okay so you can here so this is all about user opinion and all i am storing here okay so next we have the page page slider so as i said here i am using carousel so this information i am storing in the slider images okay see now here i use the three sliders like if we want more images or a slider we can add the field called a slider this is this will be if we have to add in the model that is in a coding part we have to add when we add in coding part that will be displaying here and we can upload the images okay so after that uh, so next we have the hospitals so in this model or a table what happens like uh, here uh, shown the live camps no so all the de this data is entered by the uh, admin page so now i will try to show one uh, i will uh, try to add one data and i will show the list means uh, whenever blood live blood camp data i will show here okay so we have to click on enter uh, click on add sorry so first of all we have to go here add hospital is there so add hospital click on on the hospital name hospital address correct Okay, you see camp camp name means which blood camp name start date end date so these all data we have to insert okay this is done by the admin now i will show one see here we have fifth five record is there so now i will insert one more record that is in live blood camp donations okay so here i will enter one hospital name okay names address is Delhi and camp name is A A and start date is today and end date is you can take here end date so when it will end you can select end date okay so here I am selecting fifteenth okay fifteenth you can take the time when it will uh, it will end up by noon or we can take six pm okay so save the data okay. see hospital aims delhi was successfully added so now i will come to the home page here you can observe here see only five is there now i will refresh the browser so i will get the one more data see you can observe here aims is uh, updated here so this is the sixth hospital in in this hospital also live, live blood camps are going on so user can come to this hospital this address and he can donate the blood between this date okay so this data is saving here okay in this table it will show you so next 
next we have the search option so okay here in home page you can observe here this is the search means user can search the blood group based on the blood group and the address like where he want so now i will uh, search the options like here so i will search in different options ab and i want mysuru so see here in ab also anand name there is a blood group okay so in mysore also is there if you want to cross verify whether it is giving correct record or not you can go in database so these these can be done by like you, you, this can be seen by only admin page okay see admin if to verify to cross verify admin can check here donor list by name anand he is donating he is in mysore okay see his address is mysore name is anand and the blood group is ab positive you can observe here see ab positive there okay so this is all about like donor search okay so this is the sample blood group management system okay so i hope you understand this projects thank you for watching this video